guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to the finale of 22-7, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. too quiet I don't like that <laughs> even though there are people around Okay, here's the thing I want to say. There, you see that, of course, everybody's there at the studio, and I don't think they were trying to have a concert at the studio. I'm guessing maybe they were trying to get in. So maybe this is the wall's plan. And secretly saying, hey, you know, there's going to be a concert here, but I feel like still the wall is going to be a certain type of way. And whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, because it's the wall. <laughs> we all knew it's fucking episode one. <laughs> We're here. Come here, Cody. There you go. Oh, there you go, baby. So then, okay, hold on, wait, 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 does that mean he records everything, he or she, whoever, because let's think about this real quick, let's be a little rash, everything that they've done up until episode 12, even living at the apartment, they could have put cameras in there as well, watching they every freaking move, who knows. I mean, honestly, no matter what they did, ran with this, whether it was good or in the bad. But that makes no sense. Anybody. 
something, you know, honestly really tells me that the wall and everyone who was working at this studio has been watching these girls since they were kids. Because they're young adults now, almost like actual adults, but still. It just feels like a big old scam. And they were just dragging not only them along, but people who also worked for this company, plus the fact is these fans. Nicole? Nicole? I get cussed out. But see, what exactly is your next plan? Does that mean they're going to just, since they're officially disband, will they get like eight different girls and try to continue the social experiment again? That's a girl that doesn't take no for any answer. We'll never forget when June had to do that. I think that's the best episode <laughs> really, because that was the most like one person could do by themselves, and she proved it. I honestly thought she wasn't gonna be able to do everything by herself.
is it weird that like at that moment right there with them looking at each other, it's like Nicole was paying her back. I didn't find that type of bitch. She was like, fuck it. Kick ass. Ask questions later. So Photos and. See? See? Some Wizard of Oz type bitch. So then who in the world sat and watched them though? Was it their manager or just like someone else? Because how can the manager do it? Because they were, he was always with them. Mm. You go, of course. You're not following the law's orders anymore, so you're on your own. Mm -hmm. It ain't gonna be like some clone thing down there or something. Go play. Go play. Y'all wanna take some weapons with that just in case though? I mean, no. Yeah, let's not be smart about this. Let's just take our smartphones and then turn on the lights and just go down there. Bring weapons with you because you don't know what can happen. But they all dropped it in the other room, so I get that. But still, I would have carried something. Come here. Here you go. Mm -hmm. I think this is why you should brought some weapons with you. But it's you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I think that's what the wall wanted them to do.
Yeah, it's a stage. Mike's in the world they had time to do this. I don't know. I'm <laughs> 
he planned all that. The fact that he, they went, we had to wait until the last episode to see all that. Because they had to do it on their own. <laughs> Finally. That was cute. Oh my god. Are you fucking sick? How? Huh? There you go. That's why there's the OVA. There's the freaking OVA right there. And they must be it. Okay, so final thoughts in the show. This was a really interesting, different, confusing at times, um, idol show. Because comparing, I'm not, I'm not going to really compare it to any other idol show I've seen from then to now, but I would say it is the most unique. I did like the stories of each episode and learning more about the girls in one episode. It was nice to go one week of focusing on Miyu, another one on Akane, another one on Nicole, um, Ayaka, uh, Nicole, um, not Nicole, Sakura, June, all these eight girls together and just seeing their stories and knowing that the wall and these people in this, um, studio have been watching these girls ever since they've been kids. And the fact is finally with last week's episode going into this week's episode and getting into Nicole's backstory and now, you know, um, me remembering her in the last few minutes of this episode 
indicating that, yes, because let's go back to a couple weeks ago where I think we were maybe about four or five episodes in and it was announced that it was getting an OVA. And so I was like, oh, okay, all right, interesting. So because at that time we didn't know how the show was going to end if it was going to have an open ending or something just to tie it over. But now knowing that the wall has said, have three more members join and you just showed these three members, you know, at a restaurant eating together. And even though I think I saw, I think when they announced the OVA and I think I was on my anime list before um, I switched to Annie list, uh, they did show the actors and I don't think they showed pictures of them. And so I think this is the first time we officially get to see them, which is good, unless there is a music video somewhere on YouTube where they're already in the group with the rest of the girls. With the fact that this is also going to be a game, don't know when in the world the game is coming out. So from now to the end of 2020 to 2021, whenever this game comes out, I really don't know. I think I thought by episode one, I would know who I would want to produce. As of episode 12, honestly, I really have no clue. I still like Nicole's still one of my personal favorites because officially as of last week going into episode one or really episode one to last week, she's, you know, she is the bitchy character. And sometimes with bitchy characters, you don't always really like them. And to find out that this was a girl who was a very misunderstood girl, very shy to herself, and she was scared. It makes me love her even more. I love all eight, eight of these girls equally but if i had to choose one it's a three-way tie between nicole akane and um ayaka i believe or it's someone and then you also gotta put Rico in the mix but honestly if we if i still had to say it, it's a it's a big twi- tie between all of them because they're all interesting in their own unique ways i think a lot of people will I know a lot of people possibly predominantly watch this show for one girl, and I think it's Sakura's VA because out of the seiyus from all the from all this from all VAs, she's the most popular. She's already had like a um, somewhat of a career before she joined the group, and everyone else is still relatively brand new, even though they all been in other voice acting um, shows and everything. But Sakura's VA was the one who I think she already had a singing career and everything. Everybody else had little things. And so now getting to these toge- uh, all these girls together, because I, I did, I think like two, two to four weeks before this show aired, I did a little bit of research as much as I could. Um, and so a lot of people were like, oh, please don't just watch this show just for her. Watch it for all of these girls. And like I said, in the end, all these girls are really interesting. I do want to know a little bit more about the three new girls who are going to join, but unfortunately we're going to have to wait, I think until summer to find out more about them. I I mean, if it was my choice, I would rather, and they're probably going to do this. They're going to have a 30 minute OVA. And I don't think 30 minutes or really 24 minutes is enough to get focus on all three of these girls. Unless it's like, here's what they were doing when 22 seven was doing this. They had their own separate orders from the girls of 22-7. Now, if it's like that, then I'm okay with it. But I don't want it to personally be a 24-minute episode of an OVA. If the OVA is like 40-something minutes, that could give you enough time to like at least do a recap of stuff that these three girls were doing that 22-7 was doing. Because I'm guessing... Maybe. Because there were times when I was sitting here thinking, and I may end up one day maybe in a couple of weeks we watch this show again just because just to kind of see some differences and maybe get some juices on because there were times where I was sitting here thinking um that those three girls because of the fact is they were never mentioned or seen until this last episode and they finally get an appearance in this last episode um they had to be somewhere where the girls couldn't see them so like I said if this OVA gives us information on that I want it to be 44 minutes it's just better than give me 24 minutes. You're not going to give me enough in 24 minutes. That's just my opinion. But we already know it was confirmed that I was focusing on these three because if you go, if you really, it's prom- predominantly go look on my anime list. Don't look on anime list or anything because I don't think they have it up. Um, if you look on the 22-7 my anime list page and I think you scroll down and there's something for the OVA, click on it and it will just show those three um, voice actresses. 
But yeah, I mean, this was such a good show. I enjoyed it. I think it's going to be like up there on my top things for idol shows because this was very unique in its own special way. And the fact is like having something as a wall, giving you orders every single week until the last episode and saying, you know, we're not doing this for you anymore. We're doing this for ourselves. We have to follow our own path instead of following orders week after week after week. And that's what really the wall wanted them to do after that disbanded. Because that's why I kept thinking, something about this disbandment and everything doesn't seem that right to me. Until those last few moments of having their manager talk with the woman and say they were supposed to come on their own. So, I mean, it, it feels a little Wizard of Oz -esque because the fact is they've been watching these girls since they were freaking kids. But I get it. It's like they were training them up until now for this moment. I'm glad Miu finally, you know, remembered Nicole because that was the biggest thing that I was hoping for by the end of last week's episode. And I was like, if they go into this last episode and she still doesn't remember her or have a feeling towards it, I'm just going to be like, well, what the heck? You just you held my hand for so many weeks. And then you're just like, mm, yeah, they're not going to remember. But yeah, this was a really good series. And it's going to be held to my heart very near and dear but yeah other than that guys that's my reaction you choose the series 22 7 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the magic squad and of course i will see you guys officially sometime between summer and fall for the ova i'm not 100 sure on when it is gonna air plus the fact is it's gotta get fan stuff so i'm going to possibly say maybe between October to December. Don't quote me on that. Maybe that's when we'll officially uh, get the fan sub and translation for it and such. And then I'll see you guys officially also next week for the start of spring anime. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!